variables should have a length proportional to the scope that contains them. What's the rule for functions? Exactly the opposite. Exactly the opposite. The bigger the scope, the smaller the name for a function. And for very obvious reasons. We would not want to call the open function if the name of the open function was open file and throw exception if not found. As, a, as the scope of the function gets larger, we want the name to shrink. We want the name to shrink because we're going to call it more. A function that lives in a large scope will be called from all over the place, so we want to shrink the name down. Moreover, if the function is in a large scope, it must be abstract. It must be dealing with a high-level abstraction, so we want the name to be short. As the scope containing a function decreases, the name starts to get longer. So the instance, instance methods of a class will probably have slightly longer names. Private functions called by public functions will have even longer names. Private functions called by private functions will have even longer names. You can continue down that hierarchy for a very long time, especially if you're extracting until you drop, because you'll extract and extract and extract, and all these extracted functions are going to be private. And every time you go down another level, the name gets longer and longer and longer, and it gets longer because the function becomes more precise. It does something really tiny, really precise that you need words to specify. So... The name of a function is inversely proportional to the size of the scope that contains it. 